Okay, here it is, my new studio, my new backdrop, and a new haircut. As you can see, I am now moved. There are still things I need to unpack and clean up in my studio, but I am pretty much ready to paint and make videos for you. I thought for this video, I'd go back to the basic and talk about your why. Hey, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor. I believe the most important question you can ask yourself as an artist is why? Why do you paint? Why do you want to become an artist? Without knowing our why, we will just be going through the motion without purpose. Now, I don't want to turn this into a cringy philosophy video, but these are very important questions for your artistic core. This may sound simple, but I'm not talking about scratching the surface and answer your own why with a generic answer like I paint because it makes me feel happy or I paint because it is my passion. Because those answers are not personal and not from deep down, and that's not going to help you. Being an artist and learning to paint is a journey, and it is inevitable that you will have struggle and roadblock along the way. Life can also get in the way, like some of my friends who have a newborn baby and find themselves not having enough time to paint, some of my students feeling stuck in their progress and struggling to improve, or like me, I've recently moved and there are a lot of things to do with the new place and a lot of things to unpack and things like that. And it's time like these, you need to revisit your why. I believe you can do anything with a strong enough reason. It will motivate you and drive you forward through any difficulties. I have shared my reason why in one of my previous video. I want to paint to remind people that they are loved by making their memories and loved ones special with my painting. And if I want to do that well, I need to be a better painter. When people entrust me to paint their favorite place and people, I need to do them justice. This doesn't limit to just my client though, but also to myself. If you have followed my work for a while, you know that the person I painted the most is none other than my dear wife. I've been painting her since we were dating back in college, and after 15 some years, I'm still painting her. It is just one of the ways for me to show my love to her and serve as a reminder to myself that I am in a loving relationship and there is someone who accept me for who I am. And to me, one of the best way I can honor her is to become a better artist, to paint better portraits of her. So in a way, the reason I become an artist is really quite simple. I am not one of the artists who is constantly trying to pursue a higher meaning of art and want to push the boundary of artistic movement or something like that. I respect those artists who has that kind of passion, but I am just a simple guy who wants to help people to say I love you with my painting. Okay, enough about me. I want you to ask yourself why do you paint? And keep asking yourself why until your answer doesn't change. Your reason could be completely different from mine and that is okay, but it is very important for you to know so when you are feeling stuck and struggle to improve or frustrated about a painting you are doing, you will be able to revisit your why and let it put you in perspective and help you to push through. Figuring out your why is even more important if you are a professional artist or thinking to become one because your client and audience will want to know that as well. They want to know why you do the things you do before they invest their resources on you and your art. We all like to work or purchase from people who we can trust, whose value is clear and even align with us. Knowing your core reason why is a huge way to establish trust and authenticity to your audience and your clients. We can go deeper into that topic in the future. Now, your why doesn't even need to be about helping others. One of my friends go into painting because it brings her healing. She was at a place where she felt lonely and anxious, and doing painting calms her down and brings her peace. And that is amazing to me. 
it is something that you really want to dive deep down into your heart and think about. But at the same time, you don't want to overthink it. It is to help you, not to give you a headache. What I want you to have is a deep personal reason that drives you. So you paint with a purpose, not just a mindless routine. All that being said, I am very interested to hear about your why. So please leave a comment down below and share with us your why. Why do you paint? And let's keep the conversation going. I want to make this channel not just about watercolor demo and techniques, but also about us having an artistic life. Being an artist is a journey, and we are all in this together. If you like this video, if you like what I do, please like and subscribe. If you are new here, I have a lot more painting video for you to enjoy. You can also go to my website at cafewatercolor.com to download my free watercolor ebook. I am Eric from Cafe Watercolor. Hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see you again very soon.